let's tie together now. I will explain for the followers at first and then he will do it for the leaders. Side step and walking back, walking back. Prepare the leg so we go in. But if you notice, my left shoulder is following him so it's open. I send the leg at first in front and waiting for him to pull so I can show this semicircle with the left. And walking now on my right uh, leg is to cross to the other side. So I'm passing him to the other side to be ready to walk again. Back step with my left, back step with my right and prepare the position one more time. In, around with the left, long step and side again. Now we end with the ocho like we did before, back ocho with my left, back ocho with my right, and snap your hips to re-embrace. All right, good. For us now, we are going to do leaders. <coughs> we are doing side step one, lifting her, and as I was mentioning, we adjust. Did you notice that my hip was facing on this side? Now we are going to make it face the opposite side. So we go. Left going around, right. Did it. Another point to keep in mind is that I'm trying to pass this back leg of her. Why? If I'm here, she won't be able to go around me. So I'm surrounding her in order for her to have a space here. Look, when I rotate, she can go on that direction. Otherwise, I will be on her way. So things to keep in mind. I'm not using my arms to rotate her. Sorry, I was wrong. So I will use my leg transferring weight. Look, one, I will keep pulling and fit together. So basically my arms didn't change, alter the position. It was just a shifting of body weight that produced the, the pulling. Sorry, we fit together. And from here, we're going to do it again. One. Two, going around her, rotating, transferring weight and feet together, almost like sending her into a hero, a molinete for her. Ocho, ocho, and zoom, and cross her. I'm lifting a little bit extra from my right side so she can uncross and she doesn't go to the cruzada, yes? And feet together, ready to walk out. Okay, now let's show you from this front so you see again how the embrace works for this figure. So we are doing side step, this is close embrace. Now we, when he changed to the right, I have to slide my arm a little bit. So we have, we are in close embrace, but we have this opening on my left, his right side. Important. So his elbow, he will be able to walk on my left for the first step. He changes the position and that will produce the closer embrace. Close embrace again. We do the figure number three, the move number three in close embrace. When she crosses in front of the leader and steps side, again, we open the embrace. So this side is again, opening close, opening close all the time. So we go again on her left, re-embrace. To the figure in front of the leader and let's go from here to the first ocho and on the second ocho I will close embrace to go to the next step. One more time for the leader on this side so I can show you something very very quick. We do a side step one like Miriam was saying I'm trying to lift my rib cage so she knows that I'm putting her on her on axis, yes? So she doesn't confuse that this is a pilado. So I position her, and as I'm doing that, I'm moving my right shoulder blade back and sliding my hand. Noom. Do not uh, initiate the figure if you are here because it will be, you are going to be bumping. Noom. Changing body weight. Another thing, if for some reason you did the, the side step a little larger than her and you need to reaccommodate, you can come back to the right so you can adjust and walk on her left side. So we walk, one, passing her, lower. Did you notice that my left hand is still in front of her? Don't rush, yes, because that will push her towards you. So as we cross back, took, I am here. All my intention is on this side. Later, I will initiate a hero while transferring to my left. Pam, pam, 
and we are ready to start all over again. One, two, I will cross, pull, initiate the giro into the nocho, close embrace, lift two feet together. Now let's try this with the number so yes. you can feel uh, the vibes rhythm. So we go. And one. Thanks so much for watching the video until the end. That really means a lot to us and we really appreciate your support. Make sure to check out the next recommendations that are coming up and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.